It's another episode of Daisy and G Spill the Tea. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Daisy and G Spill the Tea. Ding. So we thought for the first episode it would be really nice to do and be the host so you can get to know us, what we're about and the stuff that we're going to bring you. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Georgia and I work on the stills division here at Sandra Reynolds. And who are you? And I am Daisy, and I work on the actors division here at Sandra Reynolds. Lovely. So again, for those of you who don't know, um, the dynamic or the split of the booking desk um, is that we have the stills division, which is myself, Jessica, Jemima and Natasha. Who works on actors, Daisy? And then I've got Casey, Ellie and Jordan that work with me on the actors division. And then obviously we have juniors. Juniors. So unless you don't have, well, unless you have bubbers or children that are with us, and you probably won't talk to the junior division that much, but if you did, or you're part of a family, then you'll deal with our lovely Poppy, Sarah, and Maria. I joined the agency as a booker in 2017, so I have actually, as of the beginning of July, actually, celebrated my five-year anniversary here at the agency. Oh, hey. Oh, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but prior to that, I actually had seen the other side of the booking desk as since the age of 14, I was a model. I used the term model very loosely, model. Um, and Sandra Reynolds were my agency. So I'm very familiar with everyone here. Um, and it was a bit of a no brainer when a job got offered to me because it almost felt like home. Oh, so cute. Oh. And what about you? <sighs> yeah, I just took Daisy the job because I needed one, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Obviously, I love my job. Um, so I am actually a, more of a baby. I'm a baby booker. Oh, um, Daisy I'm, calls herself a baby booker, so that if anything goes wrong, she no. says, "I'm a baby booker," and then it's no, like, out. I think that's quite spiteful. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I'm cute. <laughs> um, no, and I've been with Sandra Reynolds. I'd probably say like a year and a half now, mm. potentially. So you and um, Jemima started literally at the same time. Yeah, me you? and Jemima started at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> One time when we were doing our London casting, Jess and Daisy <laughs> kept introducing Jemima as Jemima to so all of our new models, who then for the rest of the day proceeded to call her Jemima. Oh, that was so funny. And what was Jemima's reaction to she that? She was like, oh, guys, it's Jemima. <laughs> we were like, oh yeah, sorry Jemima. Jemima. That's like an inside joke that we have, she loves it. Yeah, she has it really. She, she loves it. Yeah. Um, but no, so me and Jemima started at the same time, and Jemima's on stills. So I actually started at the same time as Hannah as well, actually. Yeah, Hannah, Hannah is currently on mat leave. She's usually with me, my gal, on the she old actors division. She made a run for it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Come back. <laughs> Yeah, but actually, fun fact about Daisy and I is that it isn't only Sandra Reynolds that we've worked together. We have, albeit very briefly, because I left quite swiftly. Why? Right, it was great. What? It was great. What, when I left? No, the job. Oh, right. <laughs> but also that as well, yeah. Um, so Daisy and I worked at Topshop together, which was fun. And then we've yeah. come full circle and look at us now. Can we skip to the good part? Without actually telling me you're on TikTok. Well. Talking of TikTok, Daisy, how many views did I get the other day? Oh god. She she Gone bought up. them. I didn't. I got 1.6 milli. She bought them, everybody. I'm being genuine. It's a cry for help. She bought she bought them. <laughs> she <laughs> she didn't. was also on holiday, can I just say, texting every single one of us, being like, have you seen my TikTok? <laughs> I just, wanted to conf- I just wanted to confirm that everyone had seen what I was seeing and the rest yeah. of the world, most of the human race. that was really funny. It was, it was funny. Funny for me. It was, it was very funny <laughs> for a funny person, so for you, you are hilarious. Okay, right, I'm going to do a bit of um, a speed round now, Mr and Mrs kind of thing, but not oh, really. I love this game. I'm going to ask you a question and you have to say which booker okay. is most likely to. Okay. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. Because I'm concentrating. Oh, okay. Um, Booker most likely to turn up to work late. Georgia Butler, every single day of the week. You're only not late because we come together, but if we go like to your history before, you would like literally rock in at like 10 to 10. I'm a grafter after working. <laughs> 
Okay, anyway, next one. <laughs> um, slowest or least likely to answer the phone. Hmm. I would probably say Maria. Hmm. She's only in two days a week. Or Tessa, I can never get hold of her. No. <laughs> Daisy, who is the office fashionista? Ah, can you vote for yourself on any of these? No, nope. no, nope? okay. <laughs> How did I know that one was coming? <laughs> okay, um, then I would probably say, oh, that's a tough one because I feel like I don't think it is. Everyone dresses really nicely, but like, I don't think they do. That I, <laughs> I like wouldn't wear, so I'd probably have to say Poppy because she buys pretty much anything that I buy anyway. Yeah, so. I would say Jordan. Oh, I forgot about Jordan. Mm, who else has Prada boots? Yeah, Jordan, who else slings Jordan their Prada rucksack on the floor like it's a Primark paper I bag? Know. Also, she's got such a good sunglasses collection. She has, mm. yeah, absolutely. She's so cool, actually. I can I change my answer because um, the more I deep how cool she is, I'm like, I'm why not? I'm say her? yes, Jordan. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Same. Who is most likely to fight over a packet of salt and vinegar McGoys? What, two people? Yeah, like, who's fighting? Um, definitely Jemima. Oh, Jemima. Poppy. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jemima and Poppy. Jemima Do you Poppy remember? Right. <laughs> Jemima's going to hate me. Do you remember the time when Poppy... Poppy's office duty is to empty the bins. Oh, my God, but Poppy she doesn't, doesn't do Poppy doesn't like... It. She doesn't like said duty. No, she just doesn't anyway. do it. She stares at the bin, it's overflowing. She's like... Look at that! Because if you look at it for long enough, it'll empty itself. Thank you, Poppy. Empty it. But Jemima asked for the bins to be emptied, and Jemima and Poppy have like a big sister, little sister kind of relationship. Oh my God, they all the time. And <gasps> Poppy came up behind Jemima and just put the bin on her head. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this bit, this bin had chewing gum all in the bottom of it, and it fully <laughs> went on Jemima's head. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, oh my God, she's about to beat the. But yeah, no, it's a lovely dynamic that we have here in the office. Coincidentally, it's actually all girls. Yeah, um, yes. all of kind of a similar age yeah, as well. The baby of the booking desk is Katie. 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 I was about to say Poppy, but it's Katie. No, baby girl Katie. And then the oldest is oh, I'm not gonna say because that'd be rude. <laughs> that would be Jordan. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> Oldest is. Mm. <laughs> That's funny because I was going to say Jess. Tune in next week. <laughs> I was going to be like, yeah, Jess, Jess, I'm trying to. She's the eldest. Oh, but mm. most grown up and um, what's the word? Um, if you're about to say you, you can stop because it's absolutely not. <laughs> you are absolutely not the most grown up. Comment in the comments down below what <laughs> do you think we are? Who's <laughs> oldest? Me or Daisy? <laughs> Don't out us like that. I don't, don't do want that. to reveal my real age. <laughs> what is the best part about your job? Um, peak and pit of your job. Uh, the pit is when I have to leave at the end of the day. <laughs> so the peak is when I get in every morning. Oh, Tessa, if you're watching, she's gone <laughs> in for a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> and every day is wonderful. Right. <laughs> How about you, My Georgia? peak is Top lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What, when there's a delivery? Mm, yeah, mm. yeah. We're very good at um, make, making our way through the entire delivery menu. Yeah. If you want to sponsor us, <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> Email us on. <laughs> we've had some really lovely jobs this year, actually. So we've um, booked for BMW. We've booked for Tesco. We've done Lizelle, Nip and Fab, um, Trini London are a really regular client of ours. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Um, yeah, and we've got some really exciting ones in the pipeline as well, but obviously Shh. on the DL. Yeah. And that's just you? filming. So then on stills, again, we've got loads of lovely clients, but off the top of my head, um, Sainsbury's, Adidas, Tui, um, Car Brands, Sleep Crap. Um, what else am I doing? Well, I don't know, because you do just like sit around and twirl on your chair a lot. So I get confused. <laughs> Clients out there, I do not. I actually do <laughs> reply to your emails very promptly, actually. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but no, in general, we are really lucky with the clients that we work with and you can obviously keep updated with all the clients and all the work that we produce um, on our social media, our blog and our newsletter. Yes. If you don't know, get to know. The reason for this podcast slash video cast is that we're going to give you an insight into the industry and give you all the tips and tricks and spill the tea the goods the good yeah. stuff yeah what happens in Sandra Reynolds as an agency within the industry interviewing some lovely models um and some maybe familiar faces as well hmm <laughs> So we're really excited to do this. We thought it'd be a really nice, fun way for you guys to get the inside scoop. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening with us today. Um, And episode two will be coming to you guys really soon. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled on both our blog and our social media um, so that you don't miss out on all of the tea. All the good stuff, baby. Thanks so much for watching. It's another episode of Daisy and G Spill the Tea.